Family, family, how y'all doing? How y'all doing? What's going on, family? This entire month, this entire month, family, I've been on the credit spree, right? I got approved for five cards. Um, I got a commercial account with Lowe's. I got a business credit card with Lowe's. I got a um, business bank account, BOA. That's my bank, right? That's my home bank. What else I got? I had got approved for, man, it's one more, another corporate charge card. And I got approved for one more card, family. It's slipping, it's slipping my mind right now. Sam's Club, just got approved for them. They gave me 8000 My goal is, look, look, by the end of the summer, my goal is $1 million, right? And it's strictly business credit because my company, Mega Ship, I've been having that company for two years. But remember, I ain't got no derogatories on that, nothing. I'm talking about, remember, when you do business credit, it's different from personal. So personal, would, like like you got to show a personal guarantee most of the time, personal guarantor, and you got to do that for most scenarios, right? But when you're running a business, you can run it strictly corporate, right? Depending on which person, which lender you're going to, it's a big old list of everywhere you can go. Because remember, family, it's not always about what you do, it's how you do it, right? So when I always tell people, like, what's my strategy on like making millions of dollars is not always just a clear cut answer like oh man I'm finna sell on Amazon and that's it and that's cool like if that's your strategy that's cool but it's so many ways to make money just by building the assets around you so you know you might look past doing this and doing that but the whole time you can be you can be going to Apple you be, you can be going through Citizen Bank and they got a uh, line of credit that Apple will give you strictly under the corporation. Now, this is not for everybody, right? So, of course, if you got bad credit, no, it's not going to happen, right? But it does take time. But I've been working a long time on my credit profile. So my corporation got five, five commercial revolving accounts. That's what you need, minimum, minimum, to really be, you know, busting these moves on the business side. So not only am I getting Apple credit cards, I'm going to Verizon. You go to AT&T. You can say, man, look, I need to borrow let just see how much I'll get approved for the corporate side. I went inside of T-Mobile. They told me a sad answer. They, they said, man, we can give you a 1000 I said, 1000 I'm good. But just knowing that you got that credit, it's good, right? Because you can call the corporate office and say, hey, the company is serious. You can show them financials and everything like that. And then they can increase your limit. You can get let you can get twenty five thousand. You can get fifteen, twenty thousand. You can liquidate it. Like I say, family, for me, the way I learn how to get money, I learn how to get money just through credit. That's all I do. Borrow money just to make money, just to pay back. That's what I do. That's what I do for a living. If anybody asks me, hey, what do you do for a living? I borrow money and I make money off the money I borrow and I pay them back just so I can enhance my ability. Remember, I would go broke paying bills. I would go broke organizing my business portfolio just so when I'm when I'm put when I'm put in the position when I'm able to win when I'm able to get everything straight on the business side it ain't gonna be nothing to go inside these dealerships and say hey I need a $45,000 car and they don't blink twice and they give it to me and with that same $45,000 uh, $45, car you can list that on Toro you can list that and do that right and and on top of that don't limit yourself when it comes to you know like the other stuff like let's just say like Home Depot, right? They finna approve me for the commercial uh, commercial account, right? I never got my approval for them, so I can't add them. But let's just say they come back and say, hey, you got approval. We're going to give you $10,000. Okay, $10,000 is perfect. You see them lawnmowers in front of, uh, you see them lawnmowers in front of Home Depot? You can get your contracts with the city and you can hire your employees work for that. Like, your family, like, it's so many endless ideas that you can do. You can go ahead and go to Citizens Bank. And you can borrow forty thousand dollars, and this is for people with excellent credit. Let's just say if you got excellent credit, a late six hundred, but you got real debt on your profile, and let's just say if they approve you for forty thousand dollars, you can get brand new Apple products for forty thousand dollars, tax exempt. Especially if you show your certificate of you being tax exempt in the state, because you can be incorporated, and you don't got to pay taxes on that products, and you can take those same products and resell them. You can take it anywhere and resell them, but if you choose to stay in the states like me. If I go ahead and bust that citizen bank move, I can I can go to uh, UAE, which is Dubai, and I can purchase all the products and bring it out there, and I can sell it for exactly what I bought it for, even more because iPhones cost more in U.S. dollars in Dubai, and you can just take that to the local 
uh, uh, devices. I mean, the shop where they sell devices and electronics and their cash you have just out there. Family, expand your horizons when it comes to credit because it's not one way. It's not just just like, oh, just the credit cards and stuff like that. No, you can get in-store credit and those things inside that store can be assets. I'm going to tell y'all what I did with the, with the Sam's Club card, right? So Sam's Club su surprisingly approved me for a business credit card, right? They approved me for 8000 right? And I told my wife, I'm like, man, this not the MasterCard. So the MasterCard, I could have just swiped down my machine, you know, and that would have just paid me the whole amount. But it was like, no, we only can give you the in-store card. That'll work too. How do I liquidate that? Some people ask, like, man, how do you liquidate that? How would you do that? Okay, so this is what I did, right? Now, I'm going back to what I did when I was 19 years old. So I pretty much collected gold and I also... um I, I, I know how to test gold. You know, I dealt with gold for many, many years, right? So I went on Walmart website and I found three gold coins, right? Now, the gold coins is one ounce, right? Let's just say gold selling right now for 2493 right? I know a, I know a, a gold man that I personally deal with, right, in Chicago. He pay up to 96, 96% for gold. And that's our personal price with him. I've been dealing with him for years. So I go to him. He'll cash me out. Let's just say I sell all three. He gave me 96% of what the gold is worth. So you out of pocket, seven, eight hundred because Walmart charged the taxes. I should have got tax exempt in Texas, but I'm not tax exempt in Texas because my company not in Texas, right? So you could have went ahead and you know did it did it that way. I, I mean I went ahead and did it that way with getting the gold. Now I just sell it to my man's all of the cash. Now I'm walking away with let's just say sixty five hundred. Right now I'm out. I'm out fifteen hundred. Right, but I also look at that like a mini loan because I know I can sell the gold the same day. I don't got to worry about holding it. That's one asset I know I don't have to worry about holding. So as soon as I get it, it's gone the same day. It's not like a dirt bike or something like that that I got to sell. So even with the Home Depot, I go to Home Depot website. They got dirt bikes, four wheelers, and all that stuff for sale. Okay, I'm looking at the 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 CC on it like one. 150 or something like that you come across a twenty thousand dollar home depot card you go on their website and, and cash out and buy eight to ten four wheelers and they sell these folders for two thousand dollars you got it on hand people will pay you directly for it just because you actually have it in your present they ain't got to wait for it they ain't got to wait for shipment and now you just you just liquidate liquidate those assets remember family i'm not limited at all so when it comes to anything like like i can liquidate anything whether it be uh, uh, gold, whether it be a uh, credit card, whether it be anything, because you turn that to capital and you turn that cash and you get them right back their money. Because with me, I'm all about relationships. So every 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 um company that I deal with got to get paid back because that enhances you. That that enhances you as a borrower. So when you go places and you say, man, I need $50,000 commercial card, they give it to you. You can be struggling. You can really be struggling, but now you can lean back on your credit. You can say, okay, uh, 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 Lowe's, I can go on Lowe's and be like, look, I need, I need 25, 30 dirt bikes. And these dirt bikes sell the same day. I can take these to New York and sell these for forty, fifty thousand dollars $50,000. Now I'm up $50,000 just because you kept that relationship. And remember, the in-store credit cards is just as bigger than the MasterCards, right? So we might get a credit card, but you might not get a $50,000 MasterCard credit card from, from Chase Bank. You might got to work a little harder. You, not, you might not get a $60,000, $80,000. Um, you might not get a $60,000, $80,000 line of credit or loan or credit card from these banks because they might say, look, your profile is kind of thin. But you might go to a place where they sell lumber, right, like a Lowe's or a Home Depot. They might say, hey, because the Home Depot are approving people for $20,000. They're approving people for $20,000, $30,000 on the card. Lowe's is approving people $20,000 off the back. Right. So you got these companies approving these people for all of this. But most people just like, oh, I just got 20. You can you got to learn how to liquidate it. I know loads. You can go on their site and buy a UTV. A UTV is like a kind of like not a motorcycle, but like a all wheel drive uh, vehicle. Right. And you can use that and you can sell it. So they sell it for 10. You might say, all right, OK, I sell it for nine. Right. You sell it for nine thousand dollars. You might be out a thousand. But remember, look at that as interest. Look at that as like a mini loan. So you only got to pay the banks back a thousand. But I'm going to tell you the good thing. You don't got to pay them back in whole. You can pay them back partial payments. And this is the killer part. This is the good thing. You can max out a business credit card and the, and the utilization don't hurt you on the business side because they don't report utilization for the business. So you could be paying them back. Let's just say on that nine thousand. Right. You paying them back every month. Three, four hundred dollars. You pay them back three, four hundred dollars every single month. 
Now, now you getting this done, you getting that done, now you borrowing more credit, and now your profile is good. Now, on your business side, on your business account, you have over 30, 40, 50 commercial trade accounts. So you got a commercial trade account here, there, there, there. Now it's strong. Now your commercial credit is strong. And I'm talking about strong, strong. I'm talking about you can do anything you want. You can go anywhere and get as much credit as you like. And that's my goal, family. That, that's that's the goal right there. So this month, I'm going to five credit cards, um, whether it be some credit cards, the other three is in-house commercial cards. It's cool because I know I liquidate them, right? So my three gold coins, I'm going to show y'all when they come in the mail. I'm going to show y'all. Um, but, you know, uh, my goal is a million dollars by the end of the summer, million dollars in credit. Uh, we banking on it. We really trying. Um I just got to find some more. I just got to find more lenders. You know, it's, it's a whole lot. It's so many business lenders. And then y'all want to set up your professional business email and stuff like that. Get you a business company number. And really, y'all, look, it's so much out here, y'all. Y'all don't got to struggle. Y'all don't have to steal or rob nobody. You really can just bank on this and, and just learn from it. Just learn how to really put yourself in a position where you straight. You know, if you a builder, you can put yourself in a position. If you borrow money from Lowe's, let's just say Lowe's give you a $20,000 card, you can build a tiny house for you and your family. You can do anything family like the, the sky's the limit when it comes to like really building up your credit, really establishing that profile, really taking care of yourself. All right, I'm out. Peace and love.